you said if you stick with it, 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 w it would be coming. <laughs> just take us through the play. Yeah, I mean, just a great read by Holf. Um, you know, he's so good at playing the puck, and obviously saw we had numbers up the ice and made a great play to Broby. I just tried to drive through that D-man. I think Sauter was off my backside there, so, and uh, Broby made a great read, laid one in there for me, so. Yeah, it's just that's got to go in, right? But, um, I mean, that's just kind of how it was going for me. I was fighting it a little bit, and, um, you know, obviously that one was frustrating, but moved past it. Thought we had a lot of good shifts as a line after that and, and towards the end of the game, and, and, you know, happy I can contribute at the end there. That's a tough team to crack. Did you guys just have to stay patient tonight? Yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, that's Islanders hockey. They make it so hard to, you know, get to the inside and, and get good looks. But, honestly, I thought throughout the 60 minutes we had a lot of great chances and, um, you know, wore them down over time. And, um, you know, it was a good effort by a group and obviously happy to get two points. On that pass to, to Broberg, uh, what are you seeing trying to make it off the um, there? I just saw how the, I guess their guy was kind of poaching in a little bit and I saw Broby kind of making his way um, to, the, to the Ozone. So um, just trying to uh, bypass forward, that's really all I'm trying to do. You looked like you were trying a number of times when you would receive the puck. You looked like you were wanting to get it. And Go with it pretty quickly tonight. Yeah, trying to just make plays quick. Um, try to get it to you know the D as much as I can. Um, give them as much you know time and space as um, you know I can get them, and um, just try to help them out any way I can. Do you just feel comfortable tonight from the start? Is it, yeah, a lot of rebounds, swallowing. Yeah, up? yeah, it felt good. Um, thought I stayed present um, throughout the game. Um, you know, I had had a lot of fun. That was a that was a big thing. Those are uh, fun games to you know be a part of. Those those tight games against you know a good team. So. Um, yeah, it's it's huge to uh, get those two points. For Jake, is that just a reward for this play tonight? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I thought he did a lot of good things, and I, you know, we spoke about it this morning about you know where he's going to score his goals, and you saw that tonight. But um, you know, had a good chance in in the third, getting himself in a good position uh, in the slot. Um, you know, but it's nice to see him get a goal around that blue paint. Nice as a for shutout speaks for itself, but just the fact that he has the wherewithal to be able to get that up, up. get that puck up the ice. Yeah, like yeah. Um, <laughs> good awareness by him. Good awareness to be able to to use him too. You know, the the bump back from our forwards to get our guys back on the ice, uh, and then him to make that play, and our our guys on the ice to recognize that he can make that play, and we're able to get three guys on the rush. I know we talked about his puck handling a lot, but very active with it tonight. I mean, uh, breakout passes. What kind of does that do for your game overall? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it makes it easier for the D, or, and as a whole, the forwards, right? It's just an extra player on the ice that can get out and, and move pucks. It, it breaks down the other team's forecheck at times. Um, you know, if they take the D of the way, the middle's open. If they take the middle away, the D are open, and then you just kind of bypass the pressure. But uh, I thought he did a good job. Obviously, the, <clears throat> the stanchion in the one end in the first period there, there was a couple crazy bounces that we haven't seen. Um, you know, but didn't phase him at all. You know, he just he just plays within himself and he does what he knows he does best. Sure, they had a few where they were able to get through, get some chances, but you talked about killing plays. Did you yeah. have a better job about that? I thought we did down low. You know, there there was plays down low. I thought early on it was more rush play. Um, just their D were beating us up the ice, but I thought our our forwards did a better job, recognized that uh, towards the end of the first and then throughout the game. I didn't think they were as dangerous off the rush and through the neutral zone as they were in probably the first 10 or 15 minutes of the first period. What do you think about Boldy's game? Today? I thought Boldy had a really good game. I thought he had a strong, really strong third period. Um, yeah, I thought for a young player going into that, that position and a tight hockey game, um, I had a lot of trust in him. He's playing that physical. I mean, does that just kind of highlight some of the other things he can do? Maybe? Yeah, and I think, <clears throat> you know, there was a time where I think in the second period, I saw him kind of swing away off a couple checks, and I just reminded him, like, just just finish. I don't expect you to finish hard, but just get a body on the guy and, and stay over top of him. And then I saw a conservative effort of him, and it was like the third period, I thought he was outstanding. How do you look at uh, P.O. Joseph? Uh, look pretty predictable. Yep. Down and pucks. I, I, I really liked his game. Uh, simple, uh, physical, um, got pucks through 
you know, got pucks down low for our forwards to, to get back to work. And I thought our forwards did a real good job in the second and the third using the back of the net and finding guys in the slot. Like, we had some quality chances. Super yeah, I thought they played really well together. You know, I think I said this before, like a guy that's played close to 1,500 games, as long as he has, you know, steps into that position and feels pretty comfortable, I thought he, he looked great out there. Is that a team that you just kind of have to be patient against because they clog up the middle so much? Yeah. I, you know, I'm proud of our group. I thought we showed a lot of maturity. Like that's a game where you can get frustrated in and our guys just stuck with it and, you know, they played the game the way it came to them, you know, and they didn't didn't deviate from what we had to do to have success. You know, I, I thought, you know, as much as it was a, a great road game for, for the Islanders, like, I thought, you know, we, we stay focused, we stayed on task, and they got rewarded at the end.